The term man as a hatter is not something that stems from Alice in Wonderland, and Lewis Carroll was not the coiner of the phrase. 30 years before Lewis Carroll wrote Alice in Wonderland, people were using the expression man as a hatter. Our story started when we began examining the hats. As we were looking closer, we detected the presence of arsenic on two of the hats and mercury on another. In order to understand them, we had to understand the working processes, how they were made. Beaver pelts were very desirable in the hat making industry. So in order to turn a beaver pelt into a hat, you first have to remove the beaver's hair from its skin. This is a process that historically utilizes urine. It turns out that urine containing mercury was more effective than urine that did not. You might be wondering why some people had mercury in their urine. At this time, mercury was a common treatment for syphilis. Once they discovered how effective mercury was, they moved on to adding mercuric salts to the bath. It's interesting to look at this image. You can get a sense of the conditions that were happening in the US, and they were also very similar in France as well. When you apply um, heat to mercury and it reaches its vaporization point, it actually aerosolizes, and so they were breathing in mercury fumes. So if you encountered someone who was working with mercury, you might, for example, notice that perhaps they'd be a bit withdrawn or timid. Maybe some irrationality, irritability, physical manifestations like tremors. It's not the eccentric behavior that we think of when we think of Lewis Carroll's Mad Hatter. As the 19th century progressed, we see the rise of ornithology and an interest in natural history. This fascination with the natural world manifests itself in ladies' hats and fashions of the time. Arsenic poisoning manifested very much like a gastrointestinal illness, and it was in this industry that arsenic was heavily used. When we started on this project, we weren't necessarily thinking about poisons such as mercury and arsenic. We were really thinking about the hats as works of art, as works of sculpture. But over the course of our research, we became aware about how commonly they were used in the process of hat making. These objects are inherently beautiful, but once you understand the working processes behind them, it becomes a much more captivating and also complicated beauty.